Howdy, howdy everyone. This is LaRonda here. Tonight's video is entitled, Why I Started Wearing My Hair Natural. In 2016, my grandson, one of my grandsons in, uh, well, the only grandson I have in Vancouver, Washington, got me hooked up to YouTube. And I've been uh, a fan ever since. I started watching, uh, you know, you, you started watching one video, then something else pops up, and then you, you start looking at that, and then something else pops up. Well, I popped up on a video from a dude. Uh, he was being interviewed. His name was Ross Ben, R-A-S-B-E-N, a Rastafarian, and uh, he was talking about our hair. This was in June of 2016, and I was in the process of moving. And um, I didn't have anywhere to stay. I was going to be homeless. And I have always worn wigs or weaves for hundreds of years. You know, I did not wear my hair. It was not satisfactory to me. It wasn't thick enough. It wasn't long enough. It was too curly. Oh, I was such a stupid woman. Anyways, Ross Ben was talking about our hair. I'm talking about the bronze people, black people's hair. Our hair is kinky, not nappy. Nappy is a derogatory term. Anyways, he was saying that our hair receives messages. When I heard that, I'm like, what the what? It receives messages from the sun, from the creator. I thought, what a beautiful thing to say. So uh, I pondered that as I was preparing to move. Like I said, I was going to be homeless at the time. And I had 20 wigs, 20 different colors, different styles. And I was not going to be one of these little old ladies pushing her cart around, homeless ladies, with full of wigs. So I took all 20 of them and threw them in the trash. And I started wearing scarves. And it took a while. I'm not going to lie. It took a while for me to get accustomed to wearing my own hair. Since I hadn't worn it in, what, 40 years? I'm so ashamed to say. My colleagues, uh, when I would work... The white girls would say, why don't you wear your hair? And I would give that same excuse. I'm from Oklahoma. I like big hair. I cannot lie. That type of thing, you know, because I do. I like big hair, you know, bigger the better. So now, moving forward to 2020, I'm telling you, honey, I still, uh, four years, it'll be four years in June, I'm still wearing my scarves and my natural hair, and I love my hair. It's so soft and curly. Now it's full of a bunch of silver. I dyed it last April, a year ago. Uh, I wanted it like a, a burgundy. It turned out really cute. It made me look younger because all that silver made me look like an old woman. But I think uh, I don't. Maybe I did it wrong. My hair started coming out recently, and I'm like, "Oh Lord!" And it could be the medications I'm taking too, uh, because I had heart bypass surgery three years ago. So it could be partially that. Whatever. My heart, hair started coming out. I'm still wearing my natural hair, and I don't know if I'm going to color it again. But it sure did make me look like ten years younger. Well, maybe five. I ain't going to lie. Maybe five years younger. So I may go back and just, when I go to Sally's this time, instead of a drugstore, I'll talk to one of those ladies. Hopefully, they'll be more of help in helping me select the best for my hair so I won't pull it out. Because I love silver hair looking too, It's but it just makes me look older. And uh, I would not go back to wigs or weaves. I am so ashamed of myself, and I have apologized to my body for the way I've treated it, and I apologize on this broadcast so I can be held accountable. 
I'm apologizing to my hair. I am so sorry. For 50 years, almost 50 years, I've just ruined my hair. Ah, oh, I should have been wearing it natural. I now see the truth in what he was saying. And also the messenger out of Brooklyn, New York, he told us about our hair. How it, he said basically the same thing. It needs the sunshine. I didn't realize how alive our hair was. And I believe Ross Ben and the messenger when they say that we receive messages from the creator. Our hair is alive. I love my natural hair. I'll never go back to wigs or anything unnatural again. And I hadn't called my hair natural in so long uh, that when I was doing this uh, little small poster of natural hair and this lady here has silver hair, I wouldn't mind having a fro that thick. I sure would be wearing it. But uh, I think that my little short hair now is just fine. It keeps me from being uh, too vain. So I'm cool with my natural hair. Natural. I love my hair. Oh, you've seen my hair. I've got one video that you can see my hair on. And, uh, and I'll do more in the future showing my hair. My natural hair. Because it has been hidden too long under wigs and such. Thank you for listening. Adios.